So in regards to how often should you weigh yourself, I would say there's two main approaches that I'd recommend. Uh, number one is the basic one, which is Welcome to We Vibe. This is actually early, so today we're on actually Wednesday, so I've still got a few more days for me to do the weigh-in, but I'm still gonna do my physique update now. Uh, but the main topic of today's video, which is something I always get asked, which is how often should you weigh yourself? So I'll talk about that after I do my physique update. According to this morning's weight though, even though it's not the official weigh-in, I think we're about half a pound down, but it's been fluctuating, so I don't want to take that for, for like, for certain, because it may change. But anyways, here we're looking at the front pose. In regards to how often should you weigh yourself, I would say there's two main approaches that I'd recommend. Uh, number one is the basic one, which is, for example, every single Sunday, whatever day you want to pick, you weigh yourself in the morning before you eat, ideally after you've gone to the bathroom. Um, that'll obviously be a nice, consistent weighing. Over the, over the coming weeks upon weeks, you just see a usual trend going downwards. The only issue with that one is that, for example, if you, on a random Saturday, manage to have a meal out, it'll spike up your Sunday uh, weigh-in. So that's where sometimes you can throw people off track. But unless you do that every single Saturday, it shouldn't be such of a big deal because over the course of coming weeks, the trend should overall still be going downwards. Now, the better option, which I don't recommend for everyone, is literally weigh yourself every single day. Then you just find the average weight that you are throughout the week. So at least then that will account for any random spikes. The only issue is if you're someone that overthinks and has anxiety and you potentially see like an, a, a higher weight during the week, don't be one of those people that go and try and cut the calories or do extra cardio because if, it, if you're one of those people and you can't resist doing that, then I would just do the Sunday to Sunday, just do the one weigh-in per week. But if you have much more like um, control of your mental and it won't send you off the rails to see a, a weight particularly spike up maybe a couple pounds, because that can happen, you'd be very surprised. In the week, your weight naturally spikes up and down, give or take one or two pounds. So when that happens, you, you aren't meant to change anything. You stick to your plan and then eventually it should balance out. Now, if for two or three days in a row, your weight consistently stays upwards, then you can assess what you've been eating on those days, see what's happened. But for the most part, those are two ones I'd recommend either once a week or every single day, then take the average. At least then that's more accurate knowing how much you are weighing consistently throughout the week. So those are the two recommendations I would pick. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer to do or if there's another scenario that you do. Either option you pick, if your aim is to lose weight, the trend should overall be going down gradually. There shouldn't be rapid spikes or rapid drops. Anyways, people, hopefully that helped you guys out. But I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hopefully I should be training my little brother. We are on the way to the gym. Brought him out with me. He's getting back on the gym thing. Why did you actually fall off? Was it COVID or uni or what? Um, it's probably COVID. I was doing home workouts, but... You know how long it lasted. It lasted a bit, <laughs> but then I got back consistent to the gym again. Then gym's closed again. And oh, yeah. when they closed again, after that, I never really got back into it. And then during summer last year, I was just working, like, I was working four hours a week. Yeah. And I just, because it wasn't in the flow, I wasn't really in it like that. Yeah, and then it's kind of like uni. What about your food? When did that kind of... Yeah, you, you know, all the takeaway. <laughs> all right, folks, what I'm going to do is quickly just going to work out, show you some clips. Testing my check one two. So how does it feel being back in the gym? It's all right. Just got like my endurance is bad, but I was just gotta get back into it kind of thing. Oh, it's always the main thing, you know, is that it's more the endurance than the strength. Yeah, it's more the endurance than the strength. Yeah, that's the same thing as me when I kind of fell off and started this whole series again, right? The main thing is endurance. And to be honest, even now, like I've noticed that I used to go train for like 90 minutes and still be fairly good when I come out. Whereas now, within like an hour, I'm tapped out. Not even by the weights, just because my arms are seized up. But a big thing to point out as well is that, bearing in mind, this is him of two years of being somewhat inconsistent. From the footage you've seen, it's a good to know that the gains don't just disappear. Like yeah. he's not, I wouldn't say he looks like a complete beginner again. You know what I mean? And that's just from muscle memory, from years of actually training beforehand, even when he fell off. He still looks fairly good. Like I wouldn't say he looks out of shape. So the gains don't disappear is what I'm trying to get. All right, folks, it's that time again. And as for that video with my little brother, that'll be out soon when we kind of talk about the workout in more depth, but also like the journey of getting back on track with the gym. And the biggest factor, the fact that when people always worry about how much muscle they'll lose. So for those of you out there that worry about not going to the gym for a month because something happens or two months, just know you ain't gonna lose all your gains and waste it. Just as long as you've been consistent, going to the gym for a while, actually putting in the effort, all that hard work does not disappear. 
almost carried on without my guy in the video to give me luck. <laughs> Anyways, you guys that are watching that following on, let me know how you performed this week. So I want every single week for those just doing this kind of weight loss or muscle gain, whatever your journey is, let me know down below and be honest with yourselves as to how your week's gone. Basically do what I do. So basically talk about your struggle points for the week and your good points. So let's make this like a little community. So anyways, as for me, as for this week's struggle points, I would say the main one I'd, I'd not once went on the treadmill this week in my house. I was very active outdoors though, but just I was saying I wanted to get back into using that as well, which is why I bought the fan in episode three. I haven't really done that this week, so I need to get on like bringing that back into my routine so it's like a second nature, so I don't have to think about going on it. I just naturally go on it like I used to. But that's the only real struggle point I'd say. As for the good points for this week, I would say sleep has improved. I think overall my sleep has been better for more days of the week. Next up is another week of a high daily step count. So even though I haven't been going on the treadmill, like I mentioned, I've been doing some mad walks outside, man, just because it's so hot and beautiful. I'm just getting out there, putting on a podcast. I'm just walking for ages, man. Now, as for the actual weighing for this week, just to let you guys know, the weighing um, structure I use, because obviously I showed you in the beginning of the video, is the two options I recommend. I'm actually doing the other one, which is just weighing myself like Sunday to Sunday, for example, just because I don't mind like a potentially being spiked up overall as i said if you consistently do it it doesn't really matter the trend is still going to go downwards uh, i just do the option just because i don't mind if it potentially uh, may not be as accurate by not using the average but if you want to be extra extra on point with it then probably go for the average to be honest um but anyways as for this week the weight is only like what 0.4 pounds down so obviously that's me knowing that the weight is starting to slow down so i have to actually make more fundamental adjustments so as for this week i need to now be on top of things like for example making sure i'm doing my daily treadmill in the morning at least four or five times in the week at the bare minimum along with maintaining a somewhat high step count so for example i'd probably increase my minimum step count now from 8k to at least 10k steps per day and as well as that probably have to start tracking them calories so i'm going to slowly start doing that i'll start tracking my main meals so i kind of see what's going in there and how close i am in my estimations because i know that roughly each of my meals are still around 30 to 40 grams of protein. But in terms of the calories, I may be off by like 50 to 100 calories, depending on what new ingredients I use. So that doesn't sound like a lot, but over the course of like three or four meals, obviously that can drastically change whether you're actually in a deficit. So that is something I'm definitely have to start doing now, just so I can remember the portion size of the foods I eat, because obviously, I never want to be at the point where I have to track every single day all the time. But if you track even say twice a week, because I eat similar foods, it will let me keep remembering the portion size I should be having. Because you'd be surprised how sometimes the extra pour of cereal or pasta slowly adds up and then your perception of what the portion size should be slowly gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But anyways, people, that is more or less it for me. I want to keep it nice, short and sweet. So those of you are watching, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy this series. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay getting gains.